right? Now, you know I always turn the calendar, right? Well, I didn't just turn the calendar. I got a new calendar, and it's right over here. Come and look. And it's my Miss Chloe calendar. This is my brother. That's Jamie. And that's little Chloe the day we got her. And she so sweet. So every month we're going to get to see a new picture of Chloe. And so today is January 3rd, 2022. My goodness gracious. I hope everybody had a great, great holiday. And I'm kind of glad it's over, aren't you? I mean, the pressure. The pressure. But wait, but wait, oh, there's more. Where'd you come from? I just came out of nowhere. Evidently you did. <laughs> I have an exciting thing. We what? did a We did a big sale last week. Oh, I remember that. It was, a, if you came in, oh my goodness, were we a little busy. We were. It was like the staff went home and went, oh, oh yeah, see, relieved to see 2021. We, yeah. But we had people enter oh, to win. And yeah. so enter Oh, to these are some yummy blankets. They are. You know, I didn't unwrap it, but I think it's like a full made blanket. I don't think it's just it's chunks of fabric. It's pretty nice and heavy, so I bet it's big. I bet it is too. I bet when you undo this bow, it goes <laughs> like one of those. It's bags. like an explosion. Yeah, it's an explosion. Yeah. So, so are we gonna draw for the winner? I've been a little the big winner. The big winner. The two. Two big winners. Two big winners. Okay. Two big winners. And you know, I don't care which one they pick. First one to get here gets to pick the color. And the How first. How come there one? aren't very many? If we had so yeah. many people come into the sale, I don't know. They just See, didn't sign one. up. Okay. Chrissy. We have her phone number. We'll call Chrissy. Chrissy. We'll call ya. Oh, we better not show her phone Don't number. Don't show her phone number, but it just says Chrissy. So we're going to call Chrissy and see if she... Chrissy! She's... You've won. Is that your handwriting? If you're the first one, you get to pick which color you want. So hurry in. Hurry in. Okay, one more. I better not be looking. Yeah, don't look because we don't want to cheat. If don't you're the first Ethel. one in, right, out of the num names Okay, called. now this is Brenda McDouglas. Mc... 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 Douglas? I don't no. Know. McDou... I don't know. It's Brenda. It's Brenda. It's Brenda. Brenda. Right. Come and get your blanket. We'll give you a call. We'll call you. Okay. Lisa will be calling these two people. First one gets to pick their color. Yay. Which one would you pick? I'd probably pick the gray. I would pick the red. We're such a team. Let's not give them away. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We're keeping these. Brenda. Chrissy. Sorry. Happy and Dawn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. <laughs> We're back. Oh okay. my gosh. Happy 2022. Bye. Later, Gators. Enjoy. See you later. later. Okay. I'm, I'm going back to nowhere. Okay. We're going to stay here nowhere. at the sewing machine. You stay at the sewing machine. Okay. okay. Oh, I can't shut the door. My hands She's are She's leaving. We'll get it. I got it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was fun. That was it's always fun. fun to give something away, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So anyway, to me, today Meet Me at the Sewing Machine is going to be short and sweet. But we were talking at the staff meeting last Friday, and uh, we were talking about this new program we're going to have. And it is the first hundred people to spend a hundred dollars within the month. Now you gotta keep track. If you don't do it all in one shot, you gotta keep track of your uh, receipts and bring your receipts in by the end of the month. But let me tell you, a lot of people are gonna come in and spend it right away, I'm sure of it, because we're giving a notion away. And this month's notion is a seam ripper. And we were talking about seam rippers at the staff meeting and do you know that there are some people that think you don't ever have to replace your seam ripper? And I'm here to tell you that's not true. I have an honest confession. What? You've never changed your seam ripper. So, well, hold on. Hold on. So when I started sewing in college, my Janome sewing machine, it came with a seam ripper. Right, right. And I was like, okay, well, if I ever need one, I'll use this. Uh-huh. So for 25 years, that's what I used. The same one? Uh-huh. And it's still ripped. You must well, no, have been I got, good and not had to rip very I much. Got a, I got a new one, you know, working here. There's yeah. a nice selection. But I just thought that that was what a seam ripper was, was the one out of the machine. One, you know, the one that was real, real small, one that's real done. tiny that you can't yeah. get your hands yeah, on. Yeah, I know yeah. which one you're talking about. I didn't about. know they made, like, all of these seam rippers yeah, until I started working here. Yeah, they make a bunch here. of different kinds of seam rippers. So it's kind of exciting. I want to uh, kind of tell you a little bit about seam rippers. First of all, they're made to rip your seams. Now, why would you want to rip your seams? Because you made a mistake. 
So you have to admit to yourself that you're going to make a mistake if you're going to buy a seam ripper, okay? Just buy it for insurance. If you have several, then maybe you'll make less mistakes. I don't know. It's sort of like if you buy a snowblower, uh, there won't be any snow that year. So anyway, so uh, this one is my favorite one. It's the Clover. And a couple reasons I like it. It is very sharp. I love that it's thin right here, so it gets under the stitches. Has the nice ball on the uh, other end. But the one thing I really like about it is it's flat. It, it doesn't roll, roll off the, off the table. Bed. You know, it's just flat, and I like it. It's got a lid, you know, a little uh, so you cap. Can pack it. A little cap, so when you take it to... Uh, retreat or whatever that it is super super nice so um it's the clover seam ripper this one is my favorite it's the one i have all over my house then the next one we have is kind of a weird thing it's really what it is is it's a medical tool it's uh, to open your guts up when they do surgery and it is a seam ripper also but very dangerous. Now, my friend Tammy loves this seam ripper because it's really, really, really sharp. But that also means, you know, if you cut your finger with it, it's going to cut because it's uh, made to cut people. So anyway, so I kind of stray away from these, but if you like them, we got them. The next one is a new kind of fangled uh, seam ripper. It, it looks the same as a, a normal seam ripper, but it's got this rubber tip on the end. You know, when you do seams, when you rip the seams, little threads are left behind. And this is kind of an eraser to erase your threads. And then there's also the double-ended kind. And this is the one you're going to get for free. I think it sells for like $12 or something like that. It's crazy. But anyway, see here on the uh, middle, uh, there's an arrow, a little arrow and a big arrow. The big arrow means that this end is big. Wowza. Now, why would you need a seam ripper that big? I've maybe, never sewed a seam. Oh, maybe, maybe like for Jean, sergers. Jean and Fred. Yeah, yeah, big yeah, I'm not a garment sewer, so yeah, probably a serger thread and, and big, big seams. But then here's this little arrow, and look, you got a nice little one on this side. Isn't that nice? Now, to tell you the truth, I've never used one of these, uh, so I'm, I can't tell you anything about them, and I've never used an eraser thing. Uh, I've used the eraser. You'd have? Does it does it so, stretch your seam at all? No. If you, after you rip the seam and you want to get the threads out, uh -huh. then you just run across um, perpendicular to the seam. Okay. Well, to, we're gonna we're gonna do to it right pull the here. Threads out. See, look at how that rolls. See how my other favorite one doesn't roll. So, anyway, um, uh, so what I've done here is I've sewed a seam, and uh, if. If this seam had been already pressed, and pressed open even, and I went to, uh, and I discovered it was wrong, I would go back and re-press it to the original state. I wouldn't keep it pressed open, okay? And the way that I rip a seam. Let me get in here, hold on. Okay, the little ball goes underneath to the bottom of the seam and the straight part goes to the top. And I, I, well, first of all, I'm gonna get myself a little starting, a little headway here. It's kind of hard. I should have used uh, a more contrasting thread, but I didn't. So I get myself a little, a little start here. See where the threads, there, get that. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move these so that you can see better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that little ball down and between my fingers, I'm just going to push my seam ripper through and look at how it opens that seam up. Now, if you're not real careful and if your seam ripper is dull, it will cut the fabric, okay? Because you'll have to struggle. 
if you feel yourself struggling, stop because probably there's a buildup of thread right there. You just kind of get that bulky thread out of the way. But just right between your finger and your thumb, and you can feel if the blade is not going where it's supposed to go. And if there's any kind of tension, don't keep pushing because that means that you've got fabric stuck in your way. But look at how fast I can rip this. Now, I will tell you that um, the other night I was making a quilt and I was uh, had to put on a border. The border was 72 inches long. Ooh. So instead of using this, you're not going to believe what I did. But this is why you turn into this channel because I give the best hints and the best tips. Razor blade? I used a mustache trimmer. An electric battery operated mustache mustache trimmer you know those they have a little blade on them and they just go zzz, 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 zzz. they do not cut the fabric they do not cut the fabric i'm telling you <laughs> they do not cut the fabric i can't stop laughing and all you have to do is you just go zzz, oh god and it just i mean zzz. i can't hold this thing steady <laughs> it just goes and I mean, within seconds, I had 72 inches of seam ripped out. It was awesome. It was awesome, I tell you. So just one of those, oh my God. as seen on TV, must, little <sighs> mustache trimmers, little, uh, you know, that the fellas use, or women, sometimes I guess they use them too. So that it makes the best seam ripper if you've got a big, long seam. Now, I wouldn't get it out. I would go to the bathroom and do all that trouble to get one out just to get it and uh, and do a little seam. But if you have 72 inches of seam to rip out, it was pretty darn neat. So anyway, so come back here, Peter, and let's look <laughs> if you're done laughing. Now let's look. See, I don't know if they can see. We should have used darker thread. But can you see how I'm pulling some of the... Uh, the yucky thread away. So let me use this. So when you say erase, this is what you mean, right? Uh -huh. And it just takes off those little threads. Because that's annoying. Those little threads are super annoying. And so see, they just came right off. Well, here, look. I'd have to do it on the back that's where the seams are so you can see all that look at all that that's coming off so that's pretty neat wish you could see that better but anyway gets rid of all those little things so this is pretty nice just hope wished it didn't roll now when you take the rubber things off it doesn't roll as bad okay so there's that but this is still my favorite Stay sharp for a really long time, but let me tell you, just like a rotary cutter blade, it needs to be, um, you need a new one every so often. So about my birthday time, I mean, it's according to how much you, you use it. I mean, if you're making a lot of mistakes, you might have to replace it a lot more, but I replace mine about once a year, once a year, but I can feel when it's getting dull. You know, I mean, just like with anything else, you can feel when your needle in your sewing machine is getting dull. Did you know you're supposed to change the needles in your sewing machine every couple projects? Hello? I had a lady come in one time. She says, oh, no, that's the, that's the needle that came with the sewing machine. And it's what Kenmore from 1958. I mean, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. So uh, don't, let your, don't let your seam rippers get dull. Don't let your rotary cutters get dull. Uh, just don't have a dull year. Have a sharp year, okay? Make this the year of the sharpness. Stay sharp. I guess I'll see you next week. That's all I have for you. Bye.